This is the 10 year overview reading for Grab throughout the years 2020 through 2029. It's currently September 17th, excuse me, September 18th, uh, right about 12, 12.05 a.m. So the overall theme and behavior for Grab throughout the 10 year period is a big move to the upside, like a, a creating it to, to reach a distant resistance or to create a, a, a new, like really far away resistance. Um, oh my God, this is super bullish. My God, this is su these are two of the most bullish cards to see them together. Um, so pu we push the upper end of a range um, higher in this 10 year period. So this is really, really bullish. Uh, behavior around the all the uh, 10 year high, we have selling from near overbought territory on RSI. Behavior around the low, we have three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level, confirming a bullish trend. So across up, across down, and across back up, confirming a bullish trend. Twenty twenty, we had a move to the upside, even in the face. Excuse me. Twenty twenty one, we had a uh, move to the upside, even in the face of overwhelming, seemingly overwhelming headwinds. Um, we only had just a very little bit of time for twenty twenty one. I believe it came out in December of twenty twenty one. Now, uh, in twenty twenty two, out of a decline, there's a move from the bottom of range all the way to the top of range. Twenty twenty three, we have uh, an intentional fake out, shake out, uh, false triggering of an indicator. In the midst of some volatility, there's a sharp dip to the downside. 2024, we have an opportunity in the midst of volatility to position oneself in both directions, um, utilizing options like a strangle or straddle. 2025, we have a sideways S decline. So um, between a support and a resistance, we drop from the resistance, meet the support, turn around, revisit the resistance, and then we revisit the support again. It's either sideways S or slightly downward S. 2026, we have a big rally to the upside, also offering an opportunity to open up a short position. Rally continues um, into 2027. It increases with momentum moving into the, uh, the year. 2028, we have continue, more continued rally uh, along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting a secondary resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. Uh, 2029, we have a decline uh, to and through a support level. We do a reversal below it and then reuse that support level as support. Sneak preview for 2030 through 2039. Uh, it's super bullish, guys. Super bullish. Um, on a multi-year chart, it'll stand out just like the just like this 10-year period. This is very bullish. Um, and then this, the trade opportunity involving an important technical price level. Uh, where volume and volatility kind of like uh, peter out and quiet down. Let's see if we can find any um, relationships between these cards. So the Lust card. Um, so we have the Lust card here uh, in the Prince of, of Swords, or excuse me, Prince of Wands. Um, and also in the Ace of Wands, excuse me. So there's a Lust card here. So this is the main rally right here um, as projected by the theme card. Uh, and then we have the Aeon card, which is related to... Not related to much. Okay. Uh, the nine of the nine of cups. We have um, not much again. I think it's pretty bullish straight through. Um, oh, excuse me. Nine of cups uh, and the ace of. Uh, the ace, excuse me, the, ugh, the queen of wands, the nine of cups and the queen of wands have a correlation to each other. Um, yep. 
they have a correlation to each other. Um, so that would make this the high uh, 2028. Uh, and then as far as the low, oh wow, we have a low in 2028 as well. Yeah, interesting. So there's a pretty sharp drop there, it looks like. Um, as far as the trade opportunities, uh, let's see. Queen of Swords. So the Devil card marks uh, in 2023 marks an opportunity. Uh, as well as the Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's, I look to get in here. I look to get in on the long side in 2023. I'll probably protect myself in 2024 uh, in the midst of some volatility. Uh, ride that, that uh, pr you, you sell that protection. Sell that protection probably in, in 2025 and then sell my long positions. No, sell the, my protection in 2026, excuse me, and then uh, hold my long positions because I wouldn't want to sell my long positions. It gets bullish all the way through 2030, uh, 2039, it looks like, at least through the early years of the 2030s. So this is a super bullish stock, guys. Um, I'm going to be looking for opportunities to pick up this stock, um, especially uh, in the year 2023. Um, and uh, let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, when you make money from this reading, pay it forward, my friends. Pay it forward and throw a little bit back this way to keep this, uh, the channel running. Um, make sure you spend it all out of, out of love and the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold in all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.